Well, I just needed you to see that. I will add one more before we, before I do my introduction. Yes. Hello. You don't catch me. Hey, that's it. Hey. Yes, when I saw this particular video seeing uh, Nigerians in the southern Kaduna, you know, welcoming um, Obi in town, you know, for his um, presidential campaign uh, rally. I mean, it's this is organic love. History is going to repeat itself, and I mean very good history. History of good governance coming to play. History of, you know, people, a leader being voted for out of a pure conscience. You know, not people who are manipulated with money and all of that. No, this is pure love. This is pure love. Uh, pure, pure love. This is really, 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 really pure love. Look at the people. Look at it. He himself could not even hide because he, he was even saying, who made this other guy? There was a car who was trying to block, you know, him on the other side. Just leave these people alone. They already didn't know that I'm here. Now, this is serious matters on the TV. I want you to be sincere with your comments. Drop your comments and make them simple. As Aisha Yesofo, you know, that very strong woman who actually did this video and was on the train on that vehicle, in that vehicle with Peter Obi, uh, charges and recharges obedient to do more at this time even as we get closer to the elections please do uh, watch this video again and again share it let it go viral and i mean let it go really really viral then um you know we are sure that we will have the best candidate come to play you know in the forthcoming election as our president please we must not make the mistake and i promise you if we you see all of you even those of you who are following a uh, milokon uh, chop by chop even all of you you will come back to celebrate and say ah how i wish i did ah, 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 oh, thank god or you will now come and say thank god you know these other people did not join us you know that kind of thing disobedience did not relent and that is what aisha yusufu is trying to tell you in this particular video let's watch this video and then you drop your comment Hello everyone, dear Nigerians, Peter Obi supporters, admirers, F support group, everyone, well done, well done, well done. I've seen how happy so many people have been about the Chatham House um, event. People, you know, literally said, I've gotten so many calls, so many messages, congratulations and all of that. We are all happy that... Um, Peter Obi, uh, you know, did exceedingly well against stellar performance and we're feeling cool. So I'm here, I'm here to talk to every one of us. We've seen what has happened over the months. I think we're in the seventh or eighth month right now, about seventh month, about to enter the eighth month, when Peter Obi decided to leave PDP and begin to run on that Labour Party. And you and I, for me, I'm a very forthright person. I don't know how to do My inside matches my outside. I don't know how to do this thing. We've seen Peter Obi grow. I mean, he, he I'm a, sometimes I'm looking at him, I'm like, shoo, Prezi, do, don't arrive. 
it's been an astounding growth. He's been ready to learn. He's always asking for feedback. He's always, you know, listening, willing to learn. And as he has gone on, you've seen him, you know, evolve, becoming more and more and more presidential, you know, doing just the thing that needs to be done. So now this is where I want to talk to every one of us. I beg every one of us, let us also be doing the things that we need to do. Let us do our own needful. The way Peter Obi has done his own needful, he has improved so much. We too, support us so, campaign us so, volunteer us so, support group o, admi let us also improve and do better. Let us also be giving stellar performances in whatever it is that we have to do. If it is paper you are going to print, print it in such a way that you are doing such an excellent job, better than when you started seven months ago, or for those that started earlier, or for those that started later, whatever time it was you started. Let us all together, this project, make it personal. This project is all for our own. When I see people trying to say, oh, thank you, I like, thanks for what? I am running for president through Mr. Peter Obi. I am doing this for me, I am not doing it for him. You are doing whatever you are doing for you, you are not doing for him. We are doing it collectively so that we have a great and amazing country. We are doing it collectively so that we have a nation that we can be proud of. We are doing it collectively so that we will enjoy our nation. I'm going to be 50 years this year, 50. I'm going to be 50 this year, December this year by the grace of God. If I live to reach December this year, I'll be 50. That's a half, half century. I'll be going to the other half. I want to have a nation where I can be proud. A nation where I will not be disgraced. I will not be embarrassed. I will not have to run one day and become a refugee in somebody else's town. Me, I cook my lazy. I cannot work. I cannot go to somebody else's house. I'll be sweeping floor or packing something or looking for who will ration food for me. So I want a Nigeria that will work. So whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it for my own selfish self. Because I want a Nigeria that will work so that I will not need to help anybody. People will not need my help. They will be so well to do. I want, when we are talking about the poor in Nigeria, they should have things like iPad, mobile phone, 24-7 electricity, house and car. Yes, that's what should be our definition of poor. Not this multidimensional poverty that we have. So please, I implore every one of us, as we are so happy at the performance of Mr. Peter, but whatever you're doing, if you are the one organizing rally, do it very well. If you are the one organizing, mobilizing whatever, do it very well. If you are the one printing material, do it very well. If you are the one going out to campaign, campaign very well. If you are the one, do whatever part of the thing you're doing. If you are just the one that is tweeting, tweeting Peter will be for president 2023. That's just the work you do. I say God beg you, do it very well. Do it exceedingly well. Do give stellar performance wherever it is. That is how we will arrive at that place. Four people teaching in a room. See how far we've come. We are almost at that final stage. You understand? This is the time for us to bring it on. We must ensure that we finish stronger than we started. We must ensure that we finish better than we started. We must ensure that we do, we give our all more than when we started. This is the time to take a deep breath. Release and get on. Every day you wake up, you say, how can I? You see that performance that uh, uh, Peter Obi gave at Chatham House? If you are not exceeding it with whatever you are doing, then are you the fall our hand. So please, this is just my small message to every one of us to say, we can do this and by the grace of God we have done this. This is possible. A new Nigeria is possible. And you can see how jittery the opposition are. They are busy fighting themselves. That's fantastic. When the spirit of error has descended on people, they won't know what they are doing. So let us focus and do the needful that we need to do. Every one of us. This is not the time to say, oh, they are not doing this way. Do it. Anything you see anybody that is not doing, do it. That's it. Or look for a person that will do it. Do it. That's where we are right now. We are going to be working like Jackie. Work. There's no, we've not worked before. This is the time that we are all going to sit down and work. And ensure that Mr. Peter will be getting to office. May 29, 2023. So I may carry the Jackie work. Put the guys are be work. May Kukuma be work. Let him fix Nigeria. Me for me, oh, that's my own selfish interest. So let him work, fix Nigeria, so that I will not be sitting there. Somebody will send me a message that they've not eaten or they they need to pay school fees for their children. If there's good public education system, educational system, why would they need to pay school fees? They want free one. 
primary and, se and, and secondary. You understand? If there's good medical health care that they can assess, affordable or free, they will assess it. Nobody will disturb my life. That's my own selfish. Because from 50 down, honestly, I want to have more of the baby, the baby girl life that I enjoyed the first uh, half of the half of the century. I want to enjoy more. So please, I need a country that works for every one of us. Because until every one of us is free, we are none of us is free. Like Mr. Peter B said, you know, that uh, if they said one Nigeria in IDP, all of us are in IDP. And I'm going to add with one thing that Mr. Peter B said, and I put the video here. He said, this green passport, we must be proud of it. Bye-bye. This green passport, people must be proud to use it. Mm -hmm. That's true. Thank you very much. This is still Serious Mass on NFTV. Just charging the obedience. So please, put in more efforts. We must finish stronger than we started. No relenting. You can see the love. Go back and share this video. Drop, I mean, drop your comments. Make them simple and simple. Let us know what you feel about this particular, you know, video dropped by Aisha Yesufo. Well, this is Serious Matters on NFTV. My name is Olukunle Ibrahim. Enjoy. Bye-bye.